So with the recent episode of Dragon Ball Super Episode 42 now out today guys we're gonna go ahead and dive into the comment section of my Dragon Ball Super Episode 42 and 43 breakdown review to see exactly what the community thought of this particular episode that had to involve fake Monaka, Beerus, Goku, and the rest of the Z Fighters. Again guys if you guys haven't checked this video out what the hell are you waiting for? Go on ahead and check it out guys a very awesome review indeed. Let's go ahead and jump into the comments shall we beginning with DJ Trap Wolf. But still, Dragon Ball Super is better than Dragon Ball GT. Sucks huge dick already. We have Dragon Ball Super versus Dragon Ball GT references going on down here. Um, in the Dragon Ball Super, they show us Pan, but while she was still young, so you can consider it somewhat Dragon Ball GT. GT was not better because it was a bunch of things that didn't happen until the future, but they ended up showing us the future season early. What is he talking about here? Marcus Lion. And this is where the series begins to go to shit, mate. Where's Gohan? Good question. Where is Gohan, guys? Pan's rightful father, mate. Nowhere. They even dropped the ball at him being a dad. Ooh, can you say bullshit? And they also did add, and they also add a crappy Goku slash Beerus rematch for what? To shut the fans up for wanting them to fight again? All my mates even said that this series is just a wannabe GT. Here we go, um, because that's all Dragon Ball Super is. You reused and recycled nonsense, mate. Toriyama has proven and why he is lazy once again. All right, so now I see why DJ Trap Wolf was trying to respond. All right, so. Marcus is insinuating that Gohan's role as a father has not been equated into the series thus far and I mean do you really blame him because Pan was just born so we can't really see what Gohan does as a father because Pan Pan was just conceived so not really conceived but she was just brought into the series so she was already conceived during Battle of Gods and now that Videl gave birth to her now we're gonna see what happens with Gohan I mean it was stated that Gohan's gonna arrive at the party quote unquote during the evening but they also add a crappy Goku slash Beerus rematch for what to shut the fans up alright well People have been wanting to see Goku fight Beerus ever since like their first match from Battle of Gods. But for them to say that this was an actual bout between them is unfair because Beerus disguised himself as Monaka to go on ahead and get the job done because he didn't want Goku to lose his motivation. So I'm going to get back to this though. I'm going to get back to this before the end of the video. Johnny Davis. Piccolo once again being a useless secondary character to fucking Goku. No thanks. Piccolo outshines everyone at least once upon a time. If you're talking about like the original Dragon Ball series, then yes, once upon a time, King Piccolo was supreme. He was pretty much outshining everyone else. But now, I wouldn't necessarily say that he is a... Uh, a secondary character to Goku. Piccolo's in his own league, and this is ultimately Goku's story, so I wouldn't necessarily call him useless because he, he did have somewhat of a role in this episode, but if you're talking about like combat-wise in terms of him being useful as a character in terms of like when they when it comes to like fighting off certain characters, then yes. Um, but in and of itself, a, a, as a whole, I don't think Piccolo is necessarily useless. Um, but again, I'm gonna come back to these two comments in a bit. I honestly prefer Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball GT over Dragon Ball Super. Jesus Christ, what's going on today? Uh, power levels in Dragon Ball Super make no sense, and the filler is dragging the show on for nothing. Well, first and foremost, what we saw was not filler. Dragon Ball uh, Dragon Ball Super Episode 42 was not filler. So, um, if if, if you're if you're if you're going back and you're trying to like you know quote the status on, on on Dragon Ball Super having to go back and having to uh, tell these little side stories of what they're doing you know prior to the tournament, then it, it's not filler because they're just explaining further um, to what Goku and everyone is up to and furthering the plot for the next arc. So, I can't find this episode anywhere. Uh, Kiss Anime or Anime Rush TV. You're welcome. Pan and Oob are Dragon Ball GT. No, you're wrong. Um, Pan and Uber are actually Dragon Ball canon material from Dragon Ball Z towards the end of the of the Z episode when they were both introduced. So they're not just Dragon Ball GT, just to point that out. Gohan will return before the Omni Tournament stronger than ever and will join Team 7. Let me have a short arc with its own enemy so we can dig into his potential again. That would be great. That would be great. Um, Johnny Davis responded by saying Gohan is dead and gone. Let it go. All the Gohan fans are praying for something that will never happen. Like this, like what is this video? This this video is like a, a war between like GT fans, Z fans, Gohan fans. I mean, Christ! I initially thought they the mask Monaco was either Gohan who wanted to fight Goku in disguise just to show his improvement. That would have been good. Uh, but well, without Goku holding back or Beerus to hide Monaco's secret, which turned out to be true. I'm hyped for Gohan not showing up in the preview. Okay, I, I, I'm curious as to why. That nearly confirms that he is busy training, possibly in the hyperbolic time chamber, unless they make him, uh, <laughs> unless they make uh, him be stuck in a conference or something. That'll be horrible. Um, that would be horrible because he he was already confirmed to go to the conference, but we don't know what he did there. So who knows what the you know what the outcome may be? But 
he was supposed to be there and he's not there now so i mean i'm pretty sure this conference has him dragged on for like a few days straight so who knows what he's doing dragon ball gt has not yet happened uh yet though we saw it nearly just showing up and it was a baby pan because dragon ball gt was supposed to happen in the future when pan grows up yes we know that uh gt is better all right this marcus guy is like really but like going back to his comment here by, by, by them giving us Goku and Beerus, or at least Goku fighting a masked Beerus, that's not really bad because Beerus wanted to, you know, shut Goku up and give him motivation for fighting Monaka because he didn't want to reveal himself, he didn't want to reveal Monaka as being weak, so why would he deliberately, you know, let, let Goku's motivation down in him training to get better because obviously Beerus has an agenda, not only for this Omni tournament, but for himself as, as, as a character as well. He wants to be able to test Goku's, like, limits and stuff, so, um... I don't think by them giving us a, a, a snippet of what they're doing now is shutting the fans up and just giving us a mediocre fight. Um, you're saying that the series is a wannabe GT. How How is Dragon Ball Super supposed to be a wannabe GT? That, that's what I'm trying to piece together here. Um, Dragon Ball Super is entirely separate to what Dragon Ball GT is. Granted, you're saying that they're re reusing and recycling characters, um, or nonsense as you said, that might be debated in terms of character designs and overall plot, but then again, wasn't GT also recycled, reused with Super Android 17, with all the other like fusion type things that they were doing with, with, with the Shadow Dragons or whatever? I mean, they, they were also, you know, reusing it and recycling stuff as well, so you can't really just say GT wasn't also reused and recycled. <clears throat> just saying, because by you saying that Dragon Ball Super is just a bunch of nonsense, it's, it's kind of not fair because the series isn't even over yet, so let's just go further down, shall we? I like Vegeta's new outfit better than Goku's old one more. Um, I loved both of their new outfits, and I really wish they had more, but Goku's a dumbass at Unreal Into Gaming. Yes, he is. I mean, he's not hes not dumb, but he's just uneducated in a way, but, like, Goku has his moments to where he doesn't understand certain things, especially math. Goku has to find a way to combine with the Kao Ken with his godly key in order to create a stable transformation that supports both of these together. Mr. Speed Freak, how are you? Um, I agree, but then again, the Kao Ken took a lot away from his body. And you know it as well as I do that this transformation, or at least this power-up, um, can't really last forever. It's not permanent. So if, if he were to continue to hold it, that would really mess up his body. So I really doubt that he would ever probably use it again. Which I really doubt. I really doubt that Goku's ever going to use Kaioken again. That was like a one-time thing to pay homage to like the old classical uh, versions of Kaioken. But I think that what he needs to do is just continuously improve his godly energy. Just keep creating... Uh, methods to where he can actually have a stable transformation to where he has even higher key than ever before. Uh, I also prefer Goku and Vegeta's new geese, or however you spell it. I, I do too, man. Uh, Boma has got to stop throwing parties. Yes, she does, because every single time she throws a party, something bad always happens. So far, I'm loving Dragon Ball Super Filler, my third favorite filler episode. Uh, if you would, please comment down below and let me know like your other two favorite filler episodes, because for me personally, um, one of my favorites was when, when Shampa first arrived to Beerus' planet, because that was classic. That was legitimately classic, so... Zeno-sama vs. Superman. Please don't start this! Please don't start Zeno vs. Superman, because everybody's just gonna go ape shit in the comments, so... Um, well it seems Pan is gonna whoop some ass in the next episode, may God bless your soul peel off. I agree. Because Pan is powering up, and we've never seen her power up as a baby like that before, so... Who's Oob? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Oob is supposed to be the reincarnation of Kid Buu, so... He's already, he's already born, he's already in the show, but he hasn't been shown yet, so... How strong do you guys think Piccolo is compared to everyone else? Uh, could you say that Piccolo is the third strongest to Earth? Eh, I... Nah... No. Um, Goku, Pic well, Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Boo, Gohan. No. If, if this order were to be correct, I would say it's Goku, Vegeta, Boo, Piccolo, Gohan. Gohan's last regardless, so how strong did he get after his training? We don't know, because when he was in the tournament, he, he didn't really last that long, so... Why Beerus acting tough with Whis, like he won't whoop his ass? Exactly, right? Like, Beerus, Beerus always has, like, that authority of figure, like, he always wants to talk back to Whis, and Whis always takes it because Whis knows that he would whoop Beerus' ass, and... How funny would it be if one day Whis had enough, he just, like, just sunned Beerus? Like, that would be hilarious, but I was surprised when Goku can keep up with his normal form against Beerus. Yes! Anybody else notice that shit? Goku was keeping up with Beerus in his normal form. Granted, Beerus was holding back, Beerus was in the costume, so he wasn't able to unleash his full potential and stuff. But either way, as fast as Beerus came at him, Goku was still hanging in there. I mean, granted, remember, guys, he was in his normal base form, so that's saying something. I think the next episode will Goku and Piccolo 
uh, batter, to be honest. I can't wait for it. I, I don't know what you mean by that, but next week's episode looks like Pan gets captured and Goku and Piccolo has to go on the rescue, which actually looks very cool. It does, but then again, it's just like Pan seems so wacky tacky and she seems like so outgoing and like childish. It, it's going to be a very funny episode regardless of what happens. So are we going to see Broly in the Omni Tournament? Yes, Broly's going to Broly's gonna come up. He's going to show up as a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan 7 hybrid fusion with Omega Shenron Baby and Kid Buu. That's exactly what's going to happen. So Broly's going to be in the Omni Tournament. Can you imagine for a second though, for real guys, if Broly was like in a different universe? Then he showed up. God almighty. In Dragon Ball, in the Dragon Ball series, I've always loved the filler. Other shows, not so much. I agree. I've always loved Dragon Ball filler. I mean, whether or not you want to consider this filler or not, I don't. But uh, if you want to consider this filler, then this was one of the funniest fillers they had. So this isn't filler. Based on what was said through the show, I don't think this is filler. I agree. I don't think this was filler because they're building up to this tournament. So why would they even consider that to be something that, that's non-canon? The whole using Monaka's motivation makes no sense. Uh-oh. Uh, it's such an unnecessary plot. Goku's motivation is initially Beerus, then he meets Hit to give him more motivation. Um, spelling's kind of off, but hey, listen. You're right. Goku's motivation has initially been Beerus because he wants to be able to catch up to Beerus and p potentially give him a great fight. And ever since he met Hit, as you just said, um, that inspired Goku to, you know, be motivated even more because now he's looking forward to not only fighting Beerus again, but fighting Hit. Because remember, Hit, Hit is always constantly improving. So, uh, let's see. So forget who's bigger dummy at the end of episode 42. Uh, let's see, let's see. I have a feeling that it was something to work for it again. Or maybe he might be training, which is unlikely to happen in time. Boring episode. Why was this a boring episode? Um, if you're considering, you know, stuff to be, to happen in terms of like combat and whatnot, it is what it is. I mean, you can't really you can't really say that. Oh well, it's boring because I didn't see any combat or whatever. We saw what we saw. So please explain to me why this is uh, boring. It looks like Beerus was struggle with Goku, and Goku was only in his first form. The reason why he was struggling was because he was in a costume. Keep that in mind. It makes me think that Goku would give Beerus a very good fight, even if they both went at full power. Dude, Beerus was only using barely any power. Are you retarded? Ooh, here we go. Oh look, he was trying to because his aura was powered up increase. Um. Beerus was not struggling at all. He was struggling because the suit was messing him up, not because Goku was giving him a tough fight. Just keep that in mind. Chaozu stopped Goku's movements for a while. That's impressive for him. The most useful thing he did after his sacrifice against Nappa and the beating of Gluta. I mean, that, that's true. He he was Chaozu was able to stop Goku for a brief moment, um, and that was impressive. But it, it it was quite sad to see like the way it happened because like Goku broke it within like minutes. Not even like within seconds, like he took a few steps and Chaozu wasn't able to hold it no more. Krillin came of use for the first time, so I honestly think the next episode will be about Pan and will showcase more of this. I also believe Goku will try to train Pan. Gohan is trying to say I know it. Fuck you, Yamcha, you whale. You almost cost the earth to get destroyed again. Yes, Yamcha always... Man, ya this guy just came out of the blue and he was like, wow, that fight was so great. The actual Monaka passed out. It, it was like, why would you open up your mouth, dude? I think Gohan is hiding something big and maybe training. All right, so please explain to me, guys. Please, all of you, why do you guys believe that Go? I mean, Gohan is um is training somewhere? Because for all we know, yes, he could be training somewhere. And when he comes back, he will challenge his father to test him. Uh, well, all right. So by 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 all right, let's say Gohan is training, right? And Gohan's training, and he comes back, and he wants to challenge Goku to test him. First and foremost, why would Gohan even challenge his father? Especially with Goku being at where he is now with his power, there's no way that Gohan would even consider being tested by Goku. Not, not, not unless Goku tests him in a different way. Um, but Gohan, you're saying that Gohan is hiding something big. What could Gohan be hiding? If you believe Gohan is hiding something big, what can he be hiding? I'm glad the ugly Whis uniforms are gone. Oh, wow. I thought they were useless, unlike Goku and Vegeta, so good riddance. Okay, so please inform me as to why you didn't like the uniforms. Um, they looked very they, they looked very in, intense and very, very cool, so I would like to know from you, personally, why you didn't like the transformation. I mean, the, uh, the, the suits, excuse me. Um, I can't wait till Gohan comes back. I think we're in for a surprise. D uh, damn, all of you guys are just betting on Gohan for this one. I actually like these episodes after seeing Goku reacted to Monaka, cough beers. His IQ must be over 9,000. Well, I mean, Goku's IQ is not nearly over 9,000. Under 9,000 was best put by you, but uh, just when, when, when Beerus told him, you know, do 100, you know, 100 trillion sit-ups, Goku did it apparently, and he came back. He was like, what's after 1 trillion, 2 trillion? Like, it, it was 
he doesn't know math, man, and it's kind of funny. I mean, math is always hard, but I mean, I like I you try counting after one trillion, it, it, it really gets kind of difficult. So, where was Gohan? We need Bardock for the universe tournament. Why do we need Bardock? That's the question. Why Bardock? Why do we need Bardock in this tournament? Uh, and holy cow, Goku's able to keep up with Beerus. Now just imagine Goku's Super Saiyan, Super Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Kaioken times 20. Well, I mean, he only went to Ka Kaioken times 10, and that really messed him up. So if he were to go Kaioken times 20, like that would be, his body would shut down, dude. Like there's no doubt about it. So I actually really like this episode. The animation was really nice. The jokes were really good. I love seeing all the characters together. Beerus and Whis come to entertain. And by the way, the fight between Monaka slash Beerus was actually really cool. The animation was really nice, but I am betting my house that my boy Gohan, something really cool is going to happen with him. And more people! They're, they've gone out of their way to hide him. Uh, bet you he's training. Fingers crossed. Oh, yo! Everybody is saying Gohan's training. Let me know in the comment section below as to why. Prefer the action, but filler is necessary. That's true. I mean, if, if Gohan... Yes, they are hiding him. They're keeping him away for for a reason. But for him to be training, I mean, I don't know. I mean, who is he going to be training with himself? You get what I'm saying? So, but again, guys, these are your comments. And uh, it seems like a lot of you guys, uh, despite like the bickering between GT and Super, a lot of you guys are really betting on Gohan and returning. So comment down below and let me know your overall thoughts on Gohan possibly training. Um, your overall thoughts on the potential, you know, Go Goku in base form fighting Beerus. Because... I keep in mind Beerus was holding back, so you can't really put that in, in, in Goku's favor. GT was lame. Why does everyone like GT? Super is way better, and that doesn't been all points of the episode. Goku is supposed to be grown. The only good parts of GT was the Baby Saga and the Shadow Dragon Saga. I agree. The Baby Saga was the best, not so much the Shadow Dragon Saga. Traveling in space is stupid. It really didn't do anything for further the plot, except for bringing Baby to Earth. That's true. But again, guys, leave your thoughts down below as to your overall thoughts on Gohan. Goku versus Beerus, and what do you guys expect from this Omni tournament? And uh, once again, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys are fans, don't forget to subscribe. That way, you guys don't miss a single Dragon Ball video update. If you guys enjoyed, smash that like button, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Tune in for more, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys in the next video update. Take it easy, guys, and try not to kill each other in the comments. Peace!